Says who? I'm good with the Lord. I'm fine with him. And I know how you were raised, all right? And I know how people fucking think out there. <laughs> and it's got to be like that. They got to tell you that that shall not kill bullshit and all that. But that is not how the real world works, Selby. Because I am out there and I'm living it every fucking day. Who the fuck knows what God wants? People are killing each other every day. And for what, huh? For politics, for religion, and their heroes. There's a lot of shit that I can't do anymore, okay? But killing is not one of them. It's letting the fucking bastards go out and rape someone else isn't either. 50 million women suffer from orgasmic, <laughs> orgasmic dysfunction. <laughs> yes. 50 million, but tonight we're gonna we're gonna drop that number. We're gonna drop it by 10. Yeah, because women, we have to get to know ourselves. We have to know what that power center is, and it is a really strong power center. And the way we get to know it is by the power of masturbation. Yes. <laughs> now today, what I want you to do is take out a piece of paper and. We are going to jot down and draw a picture. No, actually first, before we draw, let's write. Let's give our vaginas a name. Yeah, okay? We're gonna make it cute, make it soft, make it something sexy, you know? Yeah, let's do that. All right, now after you've done that, what I want you to do next, bear with me, I want you to actually draw a picture of your vagina. Now come on, let's make it very, very, very beautiful. Because that's what we are. We're beautiful and we're soft and we're pink. So let's do that. Now think Picasso. Think Van Gogh. Van Gogh. Alright? Are, are we good with that? Now I want you to actually take the mirrors that you have on your easels. Get your easel. Yes. Very wonderful. Let's keep it going, ladies. Let's keep it going. Now, I want you to explore yourselves. Come on. Get down there and explore. You're going to look through. You're going to feel. Go through the Pia and the... Yes, I know it's so exciting. Oh, yes. Oh, God, yes. Have her come. Oh, God, yes. Oh, God. Are you still with me? Once um, Colin and I um, decided that we were going to make up this game and he was going to hide in the back and <sighs> I would run and tell my mom that Colin had got hit by a, a car or like something really bad like that. I was about eight or nine, and Colin was about 11, and um, I don't know why we ever even tried to come up with this joke, um, but sure enough, Colin was supposed to um, run out, jump out, I would get my mom, and he would just surprise her. And we would sort of kind of fall out and we'd have this big laugh. And I started screaming and yelling and my mom comes running out and she's like, Tris, what's wrong? What's wrong? And when I told her, I mean, the look on her face. I mean, even after Colin popped up to just show her that it was a joke. She just couldn't stop crying. She just held him close. Just clutched him, you know? And I, I was just a baby. I didn't know. I didn't know then. What I know now, Colin's dead. And no matter how hard I cry, it 
I know that he's not going to pop up and just show me that it was just a joke. <laughs>